I'll rewrite history again. So how do you expect us to have responded to him? When you know that what he said was utterly wrong. So you sit down there and keep quiet. Then these same people will tell you that you are corrupt. One, is it true that all the FIFA money that we've got, there's nothing tangible to be seen? Is that true? You know it, I know it. It is not the truth. He said it. So you expect the FA to sit behind. Look, somebody in the beer bar can say it. It's tittle tattle. Even a journalist to a point can say it. But if a high commissioner of a country say the waiting is different, the waiting is different. You and I know that it is not true that Ghana has, has got nothing to show for all the FIFA money it's got. Meanwhile, the British High Commission is just a stone's throw from the GFA. The two buildings within the GFA were funded by FIFA. Pram Pram was funded by FIFA. Tamaspo Stadium AstroTurf, funded by FIFA through the Ghana Football Association. And you say that and you expect us to sit back and cross our legs and laugh? You say that we own um, luxury SUV cars? Whilst my car is broken and I'm hopping from one truck and taxi to the other, you say we are sitting in luxury cars when the FA only owns two SUVs for the office of the coach of the national team and for the office of the president of the football association. He says that and we keep quiet. What would people take us for? People's critique of you.